What are they looking at? Oh, wonder what all the buzz is. Are they filming something here? Sorry if you're trying to get through. You see, we've rented out this place, the entire mall, actually, to film the latest edition of our variety show. Oh, God. Oh, no kidding. Sounds pretty big budget. Oh, yeah, you betcha. It's a special program with a ton of backers. It's called Anaconda Escape. Anaconda Escape, huh? You've never heard of it? In Japan, it always draws in viewers by the thousands. Once a year, we rent out the Anaconda Shopping Center and have celebrities participate in what's essentially a huge escape room. Uh, I must have slipped my radar. Maybe it's worth watching if it's so popular. I'll have to tune in later. Please do! We're about to start filming the Challengers round. It's for regular folks who want a chance to compete after a rigorous screening process. This year's player is wild. The man's been dubbed Mr. Anaconda. He's so dedicated, he actually built a training course in his backyard just to practice for today. Oh, sounds like quite the spirited. What? Get out of here. Kawamoto-san backed out? Oh, you're seriously telling me this seconds before we start filming? And the celebrity shoot is set for next week. There's absolutely no way we can reschedule. No, but my hands are tied. That thing hung up on me. Shit. Imada-san, what was that all about? Oh, Lord. Uh, Onishi-chan. Get this shit. So, you know that guy Kawamoto-san, our participant for the Challengers round? The Mr. Anaconda guy. Yeah? We're gonna start recording a segment now, right? Yeah, about that. Turns out he's been suddenly stricken with gout. Man can hardly walk. Wait, what? Holy crap, poor guy. I mean, there's not much we can do about that. I hear gout's excruciating. Ugh. Apparently, he's obsessed with the food here in Hawaii and has been wolfing down shrimp and beer like it's nobody's business. Damn, gout. Unbelievable gluttony. Uh. 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 Well, what's done is done. Whether Kawamoto-san gets better or not, we're down to the wire here. We need a replacement. Stat! Oh. And who do we have here? You don't say! Oh, him? He was no just passing way. by. I was telling him a little bit about the show. Hmm. Not a celeb. At least not that I know of. Pretty fit, too. You know, this just might work. Screw it. Let's do it. Hey, buddy, how'd you like to appear on Anaconda Escape as our new challenger? For me? Yeah! Wait, do you really be okay with that? What happened to that rigorous screening process or whatever? I'd be skipping right over that. Not at all, my good man. Based on my impeccable producer's instinct, you pass with flying colors. Congratulations, friend. Please give it a chance. We only have today to record this segment. There's no, there's no going back. Will you do it? Will you rise to the challenge? Perhaps a luxurious prize would sweeten the pot. I, I don't know. Prizes aside, I don't know the first thing about this game. Huh, starting from scratch, are we? Well then. Allow me to explain. Is Itchy still a wanted criminal? Simply, uh, no. It's an escape no. room, complete with riddles at every turn. One reviewer said, a fierce game of cat and mouse through a maze-like mall. Make your dash and escape towards the goal and claim a fancy prize. <laughs> Easy enough and tons of good fun. All right. Wow, it does sound like a good thrill, but uh, who exactly is going to be chasing me? Ah, take a look over there. Oh. Some kids from the local college track and wrestling teams, they help out every year. Uh, just a heads up, each one is a beast in their own right. I can see that. So those are the guys I'm up against? Oh yeah, it's no fun if it's too easy. Gotta put the pedal to the metal for that prize. Don't worry, there are tons of escape strategies available. You just have to use that noggin a little. It's a guaranteed blast once you get going. Okay, then. Looks like I'm in for a wild ride. We're counting on you, Challenger. Ahem. <clears throat> uh, what was your name again? It's Kasuga. Kasuga-san! 
Brilliant! I'm Imada, the producer. Seems our meeting was an act of fate. All right. So then, Kasuga-san. Ready to tackle Anaconda Escape? I'm ready. Let's this do it. Sounds cool, so I'm going all in. Oh, you're the best. I owe you one. Are, are we oh, playing Dark Urge this afternoon? We are. I'm just a regular guy. I don't know the first thing We're going to be doing that, our so Dark Urge exactly Honor-ish mode run this afternoon. Ah, nothing to fret over. Our show's selling point is unfiltered entertainment. Don't worry about looking good for the cameras. Just get out there and enjoy yourself. Uh, with that, Onishi-chan, I leave the rest of the explaining to you. <laughs> what do I mean by Honor-ish? Well, I mean, I'm playing Honor mode in in uh in Baldur's Gate 3 and you can't save scum it normally and i i the the okay so what happened was um is there was an issue i did not die but there was an issue where my game mysteriously exited out rather advantageously on my on my behalf during a specific situation um but I, it, I i did not die I, it was not a death situation i had escaped the death so we're still we're still good <laughs> so what actually happened so what actually happened is i is i tried to go after the druid people and i was getting my ass kicked to be fair. So what I did was I was running. I was fleeing. And right before I got out, I was like, well, let me at least try everything. And I summoned the ogres. In a different part of the map, you can get ogres. These three ogres. And you can blow a horn and they'll, they'll come and save you. So I was running and I was like, okay, let me, let me summon the ogres to distract them and then I will get out and come back later when I'm higher level, better prepared. So I summon the ogres and I leave. It worked, right? I got out, we're safe, I return to camp, we're fine. But what I didn't realize is by summoning the ogres, they aggroed the friendly druids and then the entirety of the druid grove went aggro to me all of them and at that point i was like oh my god um so mysteriously my game crashed which is wild um i mean the timing was impeccable but yeah needless to say i i that i i say i don't say dishonored mode i feel like dishonored mode would be if I exited out when I was about to die. I feel like that's dishonored mode. At that point, I would say this is a dishonored run. But I had saved the run. I had already saved the run. So now it's only honor-ish mode. Okay. I've got to get everything go. else set up. Yep. Whatever makes you sleep at night. Yes, I had right. to. Let me go over the reason with details. myself extensively to come yeah, to that and be great. accept it. Yeah. <sighs> Here's the long and short of it. Okay, it's an escape room that we have to get off. The goal, the job uh, is to reach the goal before the enemies reach you while completing missions along the way. <sighs> yes. What are the missions? We place laptops and containers all throughout the mall. They give you quizzes to solve. Whereas containers, oh, laptops give you quizzes, containers need keys or passwords. Okay. All the quizzes feature trivia about this mall, so you may want to scope out the area beforehand? Wow. No. You're merely be thrust into a non-lethal brawl that we're not held contractually liable for. But if you lose, you incur a time penalty. A win deducts 20, while a loss deducts 40. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yes. Runners are quick but easy to beat. The wrestlers are slower okay. but stronger. Okay. 
Yeah, let me let me look at them all a little bit. Yes. So, like, do I need to know about the stores and stuff? Don't worry. Maybe we should just try it. Aloha. That's all you have? None of my people can use any of your weapons. Thank you for stopping. No. No, I need... I guess I'm here for weapon upgrades. Come on, man. Seriously? Maybe a different floor. All right. Hey, bird. You're now friends with Captain G. Looking for Get out of my does Kiryu use a weapon? Oh that my god. Uh, no, Kiryu does not use a weapon. Break yourself. Here we go. Alright. Oh, shit. Ow. Uh, nice stun. Uh, let's get it done. Uh, ah, ow. That's it. I can keep going. Treasure select on. Aloha. Ooh. All right, cool. So we got some money there. That's good. Thank you. What was the Aloha. last one? No. Thank you. Aloha. I can buy safe keys? Interesting. Huh. Well, Thank I can keep you. that in mind. I've got a bunch now, but that's good to know. Oh, it's the Sujimon guy. Look at him, he looks great. Yo, Kasuga, aloha. Don't aloha me. What are you doing here? Didn't I tell you? Hawaii hosts a notorious Sujimon tournament. It's a professional obligation that I attend. Make no mistake, that's the only reason I'm here. This is no vacation, my boy. This is entirely in the interest of uh, Suji science. Hell of a tan for a research so, trip. What's the tournament like? In cases such as these, seeing might prove necessary to believing. Follow me. Okay. Ah, hello there. How can I help you? Who's that Sujiman? Understood. Please take the elevator. Coliseum, the Sujiman Stadium. I can hardly believe it. Home of the Suji League, where rival Sujiman trainers come to compete. 
the guests put money down on who'll win. Really, it's not all that dissimilar from underground gambling in Japan. Honolulu has strict gambling laws. It's ironic. Those restrictions only drive certain kinds to create such remarkable facilities as this. Hawaii has more to it than meets the eye, huh? Of course. The matches are broadcast worldwide on the dark web. The wealthy can watch and gamble at their leisure. Look! There's a match going on right now. What a fight! The challenger Masato is struggling against the mighty Discreet Force Jack! He's down to his last mon! Oh no! Come on, hang in there, buddy! <laughs> is that really it? Finish it. Kill him if you want. No, buddy! That all you got? Give up yet? Uh, no. <laughs> I quit. It's over! Like the rest of the foursome, Jack's team of Sujimon remains untouchable! <sighs> this really is the Suji League. Jeez. Battles are fought with teams of three Mon, led by their Sujimon trainer. Victory goes to the trainer who Sujimon defeat their opponents. A three-on-three -three Sujimon clash is considered the classic Sujimon battle. Hence, the Suji League uses these to determine their greatest trainer. Trainers, of course, are the brave adventurers who catch Sujimon, develop their skills, and create a cohesive team. Finally, the trainer commands them in battle and leads them to victory. That one we saw, Jack, is among the League's highest-ranked trainers and a member of the fearsome Discreet Four. And, sitting atop that hedonistic foursome, the ultimate Sujimon master, King. King, huh? Look at him. Oh, no this time is for so that now. The match is starting. Good luck. Thanks. Wait, huh? Good luck doing what? Now we present a rookie match. In the silver corner, a man so saddled with debt, he's resorted to Sujimon battles to stay afloat. Koichi Idano! And his opponent in the gold corner, the former Yakuza Kum Taurus who never stays down, Ichibon Kasuga! Uh, me? What the hell's going Nani. on, Sensei? <laughs> I'll admit I've always been the type to beg forgiveness than He said Kum, chat, Kum! Explain later. Slow down! You just need to win! Wait, win? But this is a Sujimon battle, right? Sensei! I haven't got any Sujimon. Worry not, my boy. I've called in some old friends. Here they come now. Hello, Sensei. Oh, hello to you, chum. Hi there. Name's Yasuo Sodachi, at your service. And from the Sodachi Dojo, me, his student Kuraka. <laughs> me! And I'm his most positive and energetic student, Yokawa. Who the hell are these guys? Okay. Yasuo Sodachi-san and his students. Sodachi-san was my closest confidant when I was champion. And a Sujiman in his own right. Back in those days, I ran a gym, but it sorta... went bust. Thankfully, the Sujiman sensei came to my rescue. And now that he's offered to cut me another check, I'm here to help him out once more. <laughs> Sodachi-san was a master of his dojo. He excels at training and strategy. A beginner could ask for no better ally. So, you're Ichiban's Kasuga. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Ichiban <laughs> Kasuga. Oh, shit. Must have been a bad connection. Anyway, have no fear. Even a Suji League novice is in good hands with me. <clears throat> I hate to interrupt, but Kasuga team, everyone's waiting. Your opponents so don't look so tight. So Just so use so so some so boys some guidance and trust them. You can win. Seriously? Jeez. You better not give me any crap if I lose. 
And without further ado, this Sujimon League rookie match is on! Wow. Issue commands wisely while keeping an eye on Sujimon's strengths and weaknesses and you're bound to achieve victory. You guys ready for this? We got this for sure, dude. All right, boys, charge! It's on! Who's ready to see some jacked up weirdos beat the Suji snot out of each other? <laughs> First step is build your team's strength. Don't attack pointlessly. Before Sujimon can attack, they must accumulate Sujimon power. Once it's 10, you can give them a command. The rate at which they gain is, uh, is determined by the active member's total speed. Okay. Prince so Odafi to perform an attack. Get ready. Ah. Cool. Great. You know the Sujimon have different types. It's a good idea to direct us to attack a Sujimon. We've got a type advantage over. Oh my god. Blaze, Frost, Nature, Light, and Shadow. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um Drinky time. Thank you, girl. Thank you so much. <laughs> One second. Okay. Sujimon's position relative to the enemy affects the range in power. Attacks aimed dead ahead are stronger, while attacks on a diagonal line are weaker. Okay. A white line is normal damage, black line is disadvantage, and red line means super effective. Okay, we can also swap. The next move could be fatal for the attacker, the defender, uh, help for the uh, Holy shit! What's that Sujimon got in their bag of tricks? Considering a pinch hitter, maybe. Break your fist! <laughs> Sujimon naturally accumulate morale points. Exploiting type advantage and attacking multiple Sujimon at once will accrue more. Okay. Let's do this! Oh my god. Okay. That's it! Get ready! Get a load of that, that was awesome. Okay. Whoa! I'm so glad. Chad, I hope you're taking notes. There's gonna be a quiz at the end of the stream on this. So let's wrap up this victory. And smile! Oh, uh, Moeen, it's going great. And no, I haven't. That sounds fun. But yeah, new puppy's going awesome. Everything's the good. We may actually move them down here today at some the point. Kasuga team! Yeah. Oh, we did it! Sweet, sweet victory. Whew. How the hell did we do that? <laughs> well done, my boy. I knew you had what it takes. Knew it in my bones. Hmm. Couldn't be. Wait, that guy. That's Professor Morikasa, isn't it? Uh, oh shit, it's really him. The former champion. I thought the Suji League expelled him, didn't they? But he's back now? Or isn't he? Uh-oh. How intriguing! The Sujimon League's prodigal champion, Morikasa, has returned! Bugger all. Time to go, Kasuga. Uh, okay, okay. Morikasa-san. Bored, bored, bored. 
What does prodigal mean? Uh, prodigal generally means like uh, the <gasps> chosen one or you know someone special. <laughs> that got out of hand. When you say like the prodigal I'm son, uh, it generally no means shit. like somebody really important or that? has a lot of talent. That kind of thing. Details something here, chosen. Sensei. Right. I owe you that. The truth is, I'm the former Favored. Suji League yeah. champion. Oh, it was a different time. The gambling wasn't so rampant. Back then, the league was a true test of skill. That was the Suji League that I loved. They're like prodigy. I was proud yeah. to be its champion. But since the Suji League Thank committee you, was established, gambling's devoured the soul of the competition. The Suji League committee? Did you see those folks in the weird pervert masks? That's them. They run the bets and skim off the top of every battle. The weird pervert masks? Gradually, they started fixing matches to accommodate their wealthiest clients. As soon as I heard, I rallied against them. But they were too powerful. They exiled me from the League and claimed total authority. Hold on. I can't believe all this. Truthfully, my plan from the start has been to restore the League. Make it the place of honor and glory it was before. I loved it once, my Suji League. I can't stand seeing it corrupted like this. So then, what's the plan? There's only one option. Be the very best, become Suji League Master, and win the championship. The champion's influence can be immense. If one wins the favor of the crowd, they could oust the committee itself. But you said they exiled you before. That's why I need to battle in your place? That's right. Please, Kasuka, will you do this for me? Why does it have to be okay. me? What about Sadachi-san here? He's got way more experience than me. Sadachi-san's not a bad trainer, but he's never been popular with the fans. I mean, doesn't he just have that dull-witted creator-wrestler look about him? Is that really how people see me? Kasuga, though, you have a knack for Sujiman and charisma to boot. Putting together a team is what you excel at. I don't know. The committee possesses terrifying wealth, you know. They've ruined the lives of countless I literally poor can't pause Sujimon, this. All swap and I, or stop it. And the, as I told you before, I seek okay. world peace. Not only for normal folk, however, for my Sujiman brethren as well. I want to break the cycle of mistreatment and exploitation of my kind. I'm asking a lot, I know, but you're the only one who can help. Wow. Mm. All right. When you put it like that, I can't just walk away. Kasuga, you're really in? Uh, frankly, I don't understand all the details here, but I know you're not a bad person, Sensei. If you say this matters to you, I'll help. Kasuga? Words fail me. <laughs> hey, 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 come on, old man. It's all right. <laughs> but I'm just so happy. <laughs> I always cry when someone else cries. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, for the most part, I get how the Suji League works, but I'll still need more Sujimon, right? Hmm, you'll want three starters and three for the bench. That's at least six in total. So Dachi-san and his pupils are three, so I've got to double my stock, basically. How am I supposed to do that? That's easy. Just smack them around until they give in. Kick them, punch them. Violence takes care of everything. What? It really has to be that rough? Well, his explanation is somewhat crude, but not entirely wrong. Tsujiman classically obey those who assert dominance. This will be easier to learn by doing. Oh, it seems there's a raid happening nearby. A raid? It's a gathering spot for strong Sujimon, where they battle one another to establish a native pecking order. Kasuga, go over there and flex. D why? Look, raid dwellers respect strength. They naturally defer to the most gallant among them. If you don't want to flex, 
find some other way to display your vim and vigor and then win their hearts. Just start by introducing yourself, all right? Oh, and take some of these. What are these? Suji gifts. I model them after traditional year-end presents. Didn't your parents give you any as a child? Wait. Oh, right. I'm sorry. Anyway, get to it, Sujimon Master Kasuga. I'll give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs>